History was set in motion along the coast of Goje, South Korea, on April the 26th, 2017, as five Quash Terrace tugs departed with a massive Ichthys Explorer, the crown jewel of Impex's offshore liquefied natural gas project. I'm Manish. I'm uh, operations manager in uh, Posh Terrasi. As the largest semi-submersible platform ever built, the Ichthys Explorer will process the gas and condensates from the subsea well infrastructure before it is sent to the onshore LNG plant in Darwin, Australia. ICTA CPF uh, is being built at Samsung Heavy Industries uh, at, uh, in, in Goje and uh, Posh Terrace is contracted for the towage uh, from Samsung Heavy Industries uh, fabrication yard all the way to Northwest Australia. With 8.4 million tonnes of condensate expected to be produced annually, delivering the CPF was a great responsibility and Posh was honoured to be the chosen transportation contractor ICTA CPF, uh, the, the CPF stands for uh, Central Processing Facility. Uh, it's approximately 110 by 110 meters, and the uh, top side is, is much bigger than that. The height uh, with the flare is approximately 200 meters. The project planning and preparation starts uh, as soon as we get contracted uh, for a project. Especially for this project, we had additional requirements uh, like uh, asbestos uh, inspection, noise and vibration inspections, and uh, also biofouling, uh, which requires us to do the whole hull cleaning and, and inspection. The sheer size of the Ichthys Explorer required it to be towed by a unique configuration of four units of 200-ton bolapol and escorted by another tug of the same size. Terracy Eagle, Terracy Hawk, Posh Commander, Posh Conquest and Posh Champion were deployed for this project. One day prior to departure, the four Posh Tugs will connect to the CPF. They will individually back in underneath the tow platforms and the tow pennant will be lowered down using a crane on the CPF. The deck crews hold the tow pennant in the calm forks whilst they make up the shackles on the deck of the tugs. Once complete, the Marine Warranty Surveyor will inspect the connection. The tug will then move away from the CPF, paying out its tow line. At about 70 metres from the CPF, it will drop its anchor. Overnight, four tugs will be anchored directly in front of the CPF, ready to depart at first light the next day. On the morning of the departure, five harbour tugs will connect to the CPF with soft lines. Once the mooring lines are released by Samsung Shore Crew, the main harbour tugs will pull the CPF from the quayside and move it to the main channel. At this point, the posh tugs will be pulling gently. Once in the channel, the posh tugs can take over main responsibilities. 
the harbour tugs will ensure the CPF is towed straight. As the convoy gets to open water, the harbour tugs will be released, after which the senior pilot will disembark the lead tug. From this point forward, the posh tugs will assume full control and start the month-long tow to Australian waters.